January has arrived and transfers are flooding in left, right and centre. With so many new wonder kids on the move, the latest high potential addition to FIFA 20 is Real Madrid's new Brazilian Renier Jesus Carvalho, or better known as Renier. The South American teenager arrives from Copa Libertadores champions Flamengo for £30 million and makes the major switch to Los Blancos and of course his much anticipated FIFA debut to start off 2020 with a bang. Real continue their rampant Brazilian in take in search of the next Neymar and this Rainier transfer is no different. It's our second growth test of 2020, two Brazilians in a row now, let's get straight into today's action. A quick shout out to today's video sponsor, it is OneFootball. If you're looking for the latest transfer rumors, news, videos and everything the footballing world has to offer, make sure to check it out. The app is completely free and it's available both on iOS and Android. You can track your favorite Wonder Kids, competitions, team stats and much, much more. The download link is in the description. It's a must have app for every football fanatic. As always, if you're going to enjoy, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new around here and love these growth tests, subscribe with notifications on. We're getting so close to 50,000 subscribers. Also, if you want to request an upcoming growth test, feel free to let me know down below and comment what new Wonder Kids deserve a video next. And here we go. Here he is in all his glory. The 17-year-old Rainier finally added into FIFA 20. EA did not waste any time with this one. Literally added a few days after his transfer was was announced. The hype was real with this one. I guess you love to see it. He's an exciting prospect. Can play at centre forward and can, but I've also heard he can play out on the left wing, but I guess EA have just recognised his central capabilities and it's fine by me. Currently at that 72 overall, he does wear the number 30 kit number, which is quite interesting. He starts off with four star skill moves, four star weak foot, so in comparison to Jao Pedro, only had two star skill moves. Now Rainier is coming in hot with four. He also has high attack on work rates, medium defensive. He is a right footer and he's six foot one, which is quite tall for his age. Sprint speed and acceleration are his two main highlights in here. 86 and 82 to kick things off. Two dark green stats. Stamina and strength are all right to start off with. A good little base number there and agility, composure are some of his other little specialities in there. In the 70s, as we take a look at his technical stats, 74 ball control, 72 curb, 77 dribbling and 72 shot power. Also in typical Brazilian fashion, he also does have the flair and technical dribbler traits as well. Real Madrid definitely preparing for the future with this one, with life after Benzema after he retires or leaves the club. This is definitely the heir to that center forward striker role as here we go. His valuation is 5.5 million pounds. He also has a release clause as soon as we've started the career mode as well, so be wary of that if you're doing a Real Madrid career mode. 15k a week and he starts off with a seven-year contract. Well, he's put pen to paper. He is ready for a long-term life here at the Burn a Bayou and I cannot wait. What also has pretty much all career mode fans hype right now is his 90 potential in the game as well. So it's going to be interesting to see if he's going to crack that 90 potential. Can he go even higher and how high could his overall reach in this Real Madrid team? This is how he ranks in comparison to a lot of the other youth prospects here at Real. You all know how much competition he's got on right now with so many young prospects coming through the ranks. He's also joining up with fellow Brazilian wonder kids in Vinicius Jr and Rodrigo as well. This is how he's lining up in this Real Madrid starting 11. He actually slots perfectly into that center forward role. This 4-3-3 false nine formation. He's going to slot straight in there. He's the lone man up top. Gareth Bale and Hazard out on the wings. I guess all I can say now is bye-bye Benzema. See you later, Jovic. It's the new Brazilian on the block taking over Spain. And you guys know how it works by now. We're tracking their growth, development, and performances throughout a bunch of simulated seasons in career mode. We're going at least five to ten years in the future with this one. And let's see what the future does hold for Rainier at Real Madrid Season 1. Let's get it underway. So there were no titles to celebrate for the Brazilian in his first in at Real Madrid. However, it was more of a personal growth kind of season now. He's hit 18 years of age. He's still an exciting prospect and has that all-important plus three to his overall now, hitting that 75 benchmark. And he's also in good form as well. He got signed up to an important squad role, which is always good. And in a debut season for the 17-year-old, 56 appearances 
11 goals and 5 assists, which is absolutely mental. 16 goal contributions. I know that goals and assists ratio per game doesn't really line up, but hey, it's his first ever season. He's getting a ton of game time, and this allows for so much more growth and experience to be gained, which is so important in all these growth tests, and it's going to pay off later down the line. And we're going to take a look at how his specific individual stats got improved, and there were boosts all across the board in the physical and mental stats, which doesn't really happen in season one, and it's gone ahead and happened here acceleration sprint speed which were already brilliant have been upgraded stamina and strength which is also important getting a few little important boosts in there agility hitting 80 vision and composure also going up and literally every single stat we're used to seeing these technical stats go up every single season literally every single one defensive awareness even and now the light greens are starting to creep in here finishing dribbling with significant boosts in their volley short passing and shot power ball control now at a 77 we're still awaiting the first dark green in the technical stats but i'm pretty sure it is just around the corner and with 127 percent increase in market value is now worth 12.5 million pounds on the transfer market 52k a week yeah we've signed him up to a big boy contract 10 years he's locked down here at los blancos he's not leaving the santiago bernabeu on my watch no release clause as well rainy air you've got a long career ahead of you well i guess the assistant manager is preferring the brazilian over the likes of jovic and benzema let's just hope there are more successful seasons to come with silverware in there as well but that is a more than impressive debut season at Real considering how hard it usually is for one of the kids to break into the first team. So Rainier, I got high expectations. Let's see if he matches them in season two. So Real Madrid have had to endure two seasons straight of no silverware but hey they're investing more into the future the long-term goal is what we're aiming for here now at 19 years of age his potential status has increased from an exciting prospect to has potential to be special and we all know that is the exact sentence you want to hear when looking over at that potential status he still has an important squad role a plus three overall boost just like last season he's only gone and replicated it however he's picked up a major injury towards the latter stages of this season with a broken tailbone only with 40 appearances this time around I'm sure the injury affected it with eight goals and three assists that is 11 goal contributions 16 less appearances than last year but you know injuries get in the way you can't do all too much about that nevertheless he still had a significant year in terms of growth and of course stats let's take a look at his individual and specific stat boosts in here with physicals and mentals going up well unfortunately for agility composure and interceptions they don't get too much love however sprint speed and now his highest rated stat acceleration in there with 95 88 sprint speed he's going to be another electric wonder kid to use in game 83 dribbling now that's his first dark green stats in the technicals as his technical area have all received boost now with more light greens than yellows we're starting to see those increases only in two seasons it has been absolutely exponential growth now with 22 million pound valuation 76 percent increase upon last year the center forward has found a brand new home here in madrid and maybe it's because of his fellow brazilian wonder kids they've welcomed him with open arms he's felt just at home i don't think too many fans and critics would have expected these kinds of numbers unfortunately the injury kind of hampered his season however let's cross our fingers and hope for more healthy seasons to come season three is right up next and rainier is looking ready and roaring to go as the trophy drought continues i'm not even joking real madrid haven't won a trophy so far in this career mode save barcelona are just dominating for now we can rectify that in the later seasons of the growth test however this is surely rainier's best season yet in terms of growth it's a plus five he's cracked the 80s and he's definitely developed well into an 83 rating still only at 20 years of age still has potential to be special the rise of Rainier is only going to get bigger and better as the seasons go on and it's not 56 appearances it's two less than his debut but 54 25 goals and eight assists he's definitely improved in terms of stats and performances 25 goals and eight assists 31 goal contributions from the Brazilian he's absolutely killing it as we take a look at his attributes over into the 99 range acceleration now at max Maxed out already. Three seasons in and dark greens are popping up here, there and everywhere. Agility out at 81 and sprint speed has hit 90. Stamina also at an 80, which is so important in career mode as well. Dark greens, we only saw a few to start off with. Now they are all over the place. 90 long shots and 86 shot power. This boy has got an absolute weapon of a right foot on him. 84 finishing as well. 89 dribbling and 85 ball control. Surely he is finding the back of the net for fun. And of course the competitions that Real Madrid 
take part in every year also helps with their growth. Now valued at 51.5 million pounds on the transfer market, a plus 134% increase. We're not even halfway through the growth test and we've already hit the halfway stage in terms of valuation. Thankfully, no injuries spoiled the Brazilian season this time around. And we're still waiting for that first piece of silverware. For now though, season four is calling and what could the little three Brazilian wonder kid trio up front conjure up next. And there we go. Finally, it is Real Madrid coming out on top of La Liga. They are finally Spanish league champions and they went invincible, 110 points. Barcelona are finally dethroned and Rainier gets his hands on his first piece of silverware. I told you in the long term, these youth investments would finally pay off and it looks like they are paying off in dividends right now. It is Rainier again with that plus three. Not quite living up to the heights of the plus five last season, but there's only so much you can grow in a certain amount of time. Now hitting 21 years of age, still has potential to be special. Dripping with South American flair, I'm sure he is well and truly on the road to developing into an elite baller right here. And the appearances are a bit less than last season with 21 goals and 12 assists. He definitely did show signs of his more creative side this year with 12 assists, getting involved, setting up his team mates and getting in the goals with 33 goal contributions and maybe who knows a Ballon d'Or could be on the cards but he's got some tough competition with his other Brazilians especially some Rodrigo now at 91 overall but hey the video is about Rainier not Rodrigo right now as we take a glance at his specific individual stats right here and in the physicals we now have sprint speed at a 94 we already know acceleration maxed out at 99 vision has crept up to an 83 of course and strength He's been hitting the gym, he's been getting those muscles in, and now at 74 strength, he seems to be well and truly capable up front. And as you can see here, dribbling, entering the 90s, finishing in the high 80s, and 95 long shots is absolutely sublime. Reaching an elite technical level as well, the only kind of weakness I see in this is free kick accuracy, but that's not really too important, I guess. And of course, you know, Rainier's stock has continued to rise and has risen up to a 49% increase this season. 77 million pounds. Now at 21 years of age, 86 overall, he could be possibly one of the best youngsters in the world right now in terms of this career mode save. I will not put it past him one day to win the Ballon d'Or. I've got my money on him. Well then, would you take a look at that trio up front? Vinicius Jr., Rainier, and Rodrigo. The Brazilian attack in three is looking absolutely lethal. Can the Spanish champions do it again in season five? We're gonna have to find out. That's the fun of it. The Rainier growth test continues. Let's see how the young gun progresses at the end of season five. Well, there was no La Liga title to celebrate this time around. However, they did go ahead and win the Supercopa de España 2-1. And hey, it's a trophy they haven't won before, so it's definitely one to tick off the list. And unfortunately, you hate to see it. It was a season riddled by injuries once more. And this time he's done his ACL. He's 100% fit in two months. So I guess he didn't get all too much action and game time towards the end of the season. And this is how he ranks in terms of the squad as a whole. He's gone up a plus three and is so ever so close to that 90 rating. Now at an 89 overall, 56 appearances in there with his highest goal scoring season yet. 35 goals and nine assists. So 44 goal contributions in 56 matches is quite a decent figure. And with that ACL injury, he might start off season six a bit slow. This time the injuries are really getting to our growth test specialist right now. His agility has now reached a 90, 99 sprint speed. I mean, this guy is going to be running through defenses like it's nobody's business. And as you can see there, with the technicals, they all go up. Finishing in the 90s, dribbling, short passing, long shots at a 99. So what? He's got about three 99 stats right now. They could possibly go up to four, five, or six. Who knows? As we take a look at his valuation, he is so close, but no cigar. He's, he's so close, he can taste it right now to that 90 overall. And that desired 100 million pound valuation, he now sits at 97.5 million, a plus 20. 26% increase upon last season and the stocks continue to rise and rise. So two major injuries have affected Rainier so far throughout his career. But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So hopefully he can put that all behind him. Let's keep the ambulance and the doctor's table away from the Brazilian and let's get some more game time on the pitch. Season six, what have you got in store? And just like so many other of his Real Madrid teammates, Renier has finally cracked the 90s. He's one of the world's best with a plus two overall boost this season. It's actually one of his 
lesser seasons in terms of growth. He's cracked the 90s, so that is definitely a milestone achievement there. 23 years of age. He has had no injuries so far throughout season six. The best striker at the club, probably one of the best strikers in the world, didn't really have his highest goal scoring season this year. 25 goals and nine assists. Doesn't really live up to that 35 goal season he had in season five. I guess maybe Rodrigo stealing a bit of the limelight from him. You never know. Nevertheless, the Brazilian influence is clear here at the Bernabeu and it seems to be a winning formula as we continue to take a look at his stats. There's not too much to go ahead and improve for now. However, his agility has crept up into the 91 range. Strength continues to get stronger. He's putting in the work in the gym and it's clearly paying off. Dribbling going up to a 95 and we have a new 99 stat. One year goes by and it's a brand new 99 stat to report on. 99 shot power, 85 volleys in there as well. Now valued at 119.5 million pounds. We've well and truly smashed that 100 million pound valuation in there. 22% increase as well on top. I bet you every single elite club are knocking on the doors right now. Real Madrid is rightfully his true home and he is loving life in La Liga. And you could say we got cheated out of La Liga. Three teams on 97 points. That has got to be the tightest title race I've ever seen. And on top of that, they also won the Supercopa de España. So that's two of those trophies to go in the cabinet now. And I'm sure with three major wonder kid Brazilian Galacticos leading the line, anything is possible for season seven. We've arrived at lucky season number seven and it's only delivered a Copa de España trophy. But I guess... For now, they've won every single domestic trophy possible in Spain. But most importantly, we're here to analyze Renier's season this time around. And wow, he's got an A plus three overall boost. He's one up last season, and he's now still cemented his status as one of the world's best 94 overall. And he is definitely going down as one of the greats in Real's history. Definitely one of the great Brazilians. And as you can see here, 60 appearances. That is definitely topped every single season in terms of that stats. And we also have 30 seven goals another record-breaking milestone with 15 assists alongside that a whopping 52 goal contributions he can score them he can assist them he can do it all and we're just getting spoiled right now as the brazilian stats just continue to exceed expectations 94 agility vision up to a 93 and stamina has now hit 87 it is so close to that 90 mark as well as we're on the lookout for more 99 stats and you bet it he's got 99 heading accuracy he now has 95 ball control which is definitely a major stat in there with 93 short passing and 96 dribbling his financial situation there's nothing to worry about here 150 million pounds 25 percent increase upon last season we've still got one more to go we're going up to season eight so this could potentially be smashed once more well records are being broken and the brazilians are slowly but surely taking over the footballing scene he's done his growth he's done his development to transform into an exquisite player now can season eight be the year for all the Brazilians to go ahead and grab some silverware to become European champions. But Rainier and the front three are going to have to carry this side on their backs. Well, would you look at this? What a prospect we have on the last day of the season in El Clasico away from home. And take a look at the table, 104 points each. This could well and truly decide the title. And what better way to do it on the last day of the season? This is how the squad is lining up. We've gifted Rainier with the captaincy after all he's done so far in his Real Madrid career. It's going to be a nervy one. It's going to be a fiery encounter. But we go ahead and take the 2-0 dub right there. We win the title on Barcelona's territory on their own patch. And it's Kubo and, of course, our boy Rainier to score the winning goals. And the La Liga title is successfully captured. And would you look at that? Our boy is killing it in the eighth and final season of this growth test. He's the player of the competition. And he's also the sharpshooter winning the golden boot this time around. This has definitely got to be his best season yet. We also do have a Champions League final to look forward to against Liverpool. So we're definitely playing that. He's only received a plus. Plus one overall boost, which is definitely his worst in terms of overall growth, but there's not too much you can improve. He's basically already the perfect center forward at 25 years of age. He's entering the peaks of his career, and there we go. 38 goals and 14 assists in 55 matches, and that is definitely an outstanding way to finish off season eight. It's going to be the last time we take a look at his attributes, and of course, the dark greens are looming large with 98 vision now 
88 stamina, 80 strength, and the technicals continue to be absolutely mind-boggling right now. No more new 99 stats, however. The stats that are in the 90s are out of this world. Out of everyone so far, I'm probably looking forward to using Renier the most in-game. He's going to translate into some exciting gameplay. So in this Champions League final, let's go ahead and take the dub against Liverpool. We did it against Barcelona on their own patch, and now it's time to earn some European glory. And of course, like always, it's the definition of star Started from the bottom, and now we're here. The Brazilians, they were doubted. They were targeted by the media. They thought they would fail, but here they are, showing up at the big dance. And of course, Rainier leading the lads out tonight. He's got the captain's armband, and we're hoping for those ribbons to be white and purple for tonight's action. Let's go ahead and secure the bag for this one in the final. That was our road. Well then, the Brazilians are looking as focused and as ready as ever, Rodrigo Vinicius Jr. It has all come down to this. The nerves are starting to kick in now, but we have liftoff in this Champions League final. Our boy will get us underway. And it's Moise Ken all alone. Can Varane catch up to him? He does. It's a brilliant little intervention, but it's too too many coming through. And at the near post, Liverpool provide a shock in these first opening 13 minutes. And the Reds have gotten into the lead and has taken us by absolute shock right here. As that's their first chance, it's their first shot on target. And okay, we go 1-0 down. Cuts inside, breezes past Renier. First few touches of the ball back into Renier again. who will breeze past Tar. And now the chance for the finesse shot. And he's tucked it away. His first chance of the match. And the number 30, the captain, leading by example. And that is an example of one of his dangerous and lethal finishes. He gets into that position. He's a fox in the box. And the center forward, false nine roll. It's the role and position he was born to play. He can stretch out as much as he wants. But the ball was destined to hit the back of the net. And we find our much-deserved equal. Tracked back and now Takafuzu Kubo. He had the first assist. Rennie and him love a little connection and they might return the favor here. Kubo fluffs his lines. 99 heading accuracy might pay off. Varane's going to leap up high and Varane's going to have a go and it's off the line. It is Rodrigo now off the post. Valverde tucks it in and that was an absolute scrummage in front of goal. What just happened there? Absolutely chaotic, but somehow we found the lead and our second goal, 26 minutes in and it is an absolute goal fest to start things off here as Renier breezes past Tar. He's going to end his career tonight if he's not careful. And we'll send through Valverde for his second. Valverde nets his second. But that is an assist for Renier. It's an a goal and assist tonight. And Valverde is stealing the show. It is a two-goal cushion before halftime. And it's a lovely assist for Renier. Liverpool trying to get one back before halftime. They might, you know, here with Rabiot. A massive save from Courtois. But again, the rebound goes to Rabiot. We've got five goals already. In the space of 37 minutes, it is going to be... One hell of a Champions League final. Odegaard finds Renier. And now Renier, he might have a pop, you know. Renier with the curler. And that would have been magical. Vinicius Jr., Kubo. Oh, you love to see that. Over to Renier again. He'll try the finesse shot. And that time, it works to perfection. He has executed that like the best finisher in the world right now. And it's a double in the Champions League final. His 40th goal of the season. What a season he has had. And he saved his best till last. And that is an absolutely outstanding goal. World class from the captain. The technique he has pulled off to let that one go in. Off the post and in as well. Two Addisons in net would have been helpless. And now we take the 4-2 lead. The Renier Masterclass might continue here with a hat-trick here tonight. Champions League final. And the captain has secured the bag. Definitely getting the result as well. It's Real's 14th Champions League title. And it was well worth the wait with a Brazilian hat-trick by Renier. And it was absolute class. It was a class overload, let's just say. And the fans definitely know they've won it by now. Scenes here as Vinicius Jr. fed it through. And what a combination there by the two South Americans. Allison came out as well. And all he had to do was slot it straight past 5-2. And that is definitely the win secured. He leads by example, and it's what dreams are made of. And there we go. The referee blows his whistle, and the celebrations will kick off. I told you the wait would be worth it. And it has finally come all into fruition now, as the Brazilian scores a hat-trick in the Champions League final. Definitely 
probably one of the most complete wonder kids I've used, if that kind of makes sense, in these gameplay aspects of the growth test. Renier definitely one to sign and one to look out for in the future for Real Madrid. It is another exciting one to get added into FIFA 20 and I'm sure there's going to be many more this year and this decade and I am so keen. I'm definitely looking forward to it but that is going to be it. If you did enjoy make sure to smack a like on it down below, hit subscribe and turn on those notifications for more FIFA 20 content coming at you on the regular. Follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description and also comment down below what Wonder Kid should be next for another one of these growth tests. But for now, I've been BCHD. I'll leave you with the Real Madrid celebrations in the Champions League final as he cements his GOAT status and writes his name into Real Madrid folklore. This will be one that the fans and Renier will never forget.